Hello there, people of the internet. Welcome back to another episode of Scare Bass. In this series, you guys go onto my Discord, you join it, you say, hey, how's everyone doing? You go to Scare Bass submission and you post something that you think will scare me. So I've chosen a collection of some of those from the Discord. I'll shout out the person who sent it and then the person who created it. Blah, blah, blah. You know how it is. If you guys want to send me something spooky, go into my Discord and post something in Scare Bads and may maybe, you know, you'll scare me. Who knows? But yeah, we're starting off today with a creator we actually haven't uh, reacted to in a while. The reason being is the last video I reacted of this channel, Meat Canyon. Fantastic creator, by the way. Really awesome. Really love his content. But for some reason, I was given a community guideline warning and yet the video, the original video is still up. Uh, mine was taken down. It's I don't know. I don't know how it works. It's it's super weird. But there we go. This is Meat Canyon, and this is called You Got a Friend in Me, and it's an alternative ending to Toy Story Three. So here we go. Is Andy putting his toys away? I want you to move. Oh dear. <laughs> I want you to move. What? All right, hang on. Why? Do, why does Woody look like this? Why? Why does he look like that? Look at that ass chin. Look at the ears. This dude's got Dumbo ears and a and an ass chin. Me. If you don't respond, I'm gonna start killing all of your friends here. Okay, and this is this is where obviously it can't just be wholesome, can it? It can't. It starts off. You think, oh, this is this is gonna be cool. He's gonna massacre Andy's not Andy's Woody's friends in front of him, including. Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head, the alien sling. Um, the, funnily enough, actually, I remember seeing a TikTok of this very thing. The guy was like, it would be cool if there was an alternative ending where... Well, I don't want to give it away, but you'll see. You'll see. But I think that Meat Canyon actually took that idea on board and created it. So that's awesome if that's true. But I think he put his own twist on it as well, so... Move for me, Woody. Look, can me. we just talk about Andy's hairline? Move for Bruh, look. Look at this. Why it goes all the way up here, man. For me, Woody. Move for me. Do you think that I'm fucking playing? <laughs> I saw you, Woody. I saw you in the toys playing with Sid. Oh, my God. My toys were live. And they were playing with my next door neighbor. And look at Sid's me. head. My childhood, my whole life is knowing. May Andy is unhinged. My toys were alive, but they didn't want to be alive. Look at this face. You can't be the hero, Woody. Oh my God. Oh, good lord. Uh-oh. I knew it. I knew you were alive, Woody. Woody, I knew it. I, 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 I. <laughs> <laughs> You have cancer, Andy. Oh, my God. Of course. Okay. Just had to, didn't he? Just had to go there. When we reveal ourselves to be alive to humans, they contract cancer. Oh, my God. You got cancer, Andy. Sorry, Andy. 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 Oh, look at Buzz. <laughs> didn't you ever wonder where Sid went? He moved. He, Mom said he moved. He moved to heaven, Andy. He Me got cancer and died. Oh my god. I that's... know that you just found out that you have cancer, but it feels so nice being able to talk to you finally. Oh my god. <laughs> Straight away as well. <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> I didn't want to, Andy, but you forced my hand. Oh, I good had Lord. to look out for my- Hang on, can we talk about this? Why has he got a bulge here? What's going on there? Partners. You know what's really sad about this, actually, guys? The fact that he was willing to sacrifice some of his toy buddies because he didn't want to give Sid cancer. I mean, Andy, sorry. It's oh my like God, look looking at into the face of an angel, Andy. It's too much for humans. You don't come back from infinity, Andy. <laughs> He's got a straight up butthole oh, chin. No, 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 
Oh my god. Andy, you're a poor boy. I know, sweetie, I know. Hang on. <laughs> they're, they're stood up. Are they not? The adult's not seeing this. Ah, uh, of course. Oh my god. Hey, I got a second channel called Papa Meat. Yeah, go subscribe to Papa Meat, guys. Fantastic. Uh, he does like, like he'll, he'll recreate fan submissions of certain characters and he'll do like, he, yeah, it's really good. Uh, I uh, highly suggest watching uh, Meat Canyon, Papa Meat. Really, really talented. The team that he's got on board is really talented as well. Uh, go check them out. Obviously, all linked will be in the description down below. But yeah, thank you for the submission, Will. Appreciate it. Um, and we're going to move on. Okay, so this one was sent to me by Marionette Puppeteer, I believe. And it's called uh, The Puppet's Poem, FNAF VHS, Fazbear's Fright Archive. You know what, let's just jump straight into this. Uh, here we go. Turn the captions on. Okay. There once was a bunny who was the star of a show. He could sing, he could dance, and make a funny noise when you pressed his nose. Hang on a sec. A bunny? I thought Freddy was the main guy. But then one day, the bunny's friend had an accident. He had an immortal snack, and away the two went. There the bunny sat, long forgotten. An immortal snack? His metal became rusted, his fair slightly rotten. A happy man showed up and got in the rabbit. His intentions bona fide. I'll give you your happiest day, he said, Ooh. before committing the foulest of crimes. Five children in all, five souls unjustly taken. From her tomb, another oh. brave soul awakens. He will come back, she said. He always does. What? My, what? That Spring time trip? around, though, we had not known the cause. The soul scared him into hiding, right into that bunny. The happy man found his situation quite funny. The laughter was too much. He was crushed in the rabbit, the oh. yellow one that was the cover for his lethal habit. For a while, he was dead. The happy man was no more. For now, he simply gazes at the floor. But he is slowly coming back now. Soon he will leave his eternal rest. A battle with the masked son will be his final test. Oh, okay. I'm coming for you, Michael. Oh dear. I'll be able to get out of here eventually. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. There we go. The puppet's next show will be in 30 minutes. I mean, fantastic stuff. What, what, you show that to kids, do you? Amazing. Brilliant. Thank you for that. Well, there we go, guys. That was the puppet's poem. Let's move on. Here we go, guys. This one is... It was uploaded by a couple of people, actually. Noble Breston and, I believe, Mr. Pug uploaded this maybe a few other people as well but that is two that i can immediately see so this is called the backrooms 5 entity chase by dinnerbone 777 the great thing about when someone makes something really really good is that other really talented artists and vfx artists etc want to try their hand at it their own version of it and it breeds this whole like talented pool of people that just create this amazing content and it's awesome so Let's see what this one's about. It's 2 minutes 40. Jumping in. Oh, jeez. Those papers? Oh, dear. Falling at terminal velocity. Oh, that was a nice transition. <clears throat> but what was that room to begin with? Can we talk about that? Was he in a different level beforehand? That's ridiculous. Oh, wow. The camera works really good. Whoa! Freaking Sonic the Hedgehog. Is that milk? Someone's thirsty. Hey, that's me. Milk in the back rooms, guys. <laughs> I'm a funny lad. This is really well done. Looks real. 
It's very hard to sell the camera movements in VFX, but uh oh. It's time to get out of there, buddy. Well, I mean, out of that area. Oh, be careful of the windows. Don't trust the windows. Don't trust the windows. They'll pull you in. Oh, okay. You didn't trust. Okay. That looks like a void. Oh, Jesus. Someone threw the milk at him. Oh, my God. What's that vent there? Oh, flipping out. No, why? Why would you do that? Why would you go through the vents? Oh my god. Wow. I mean, this is fantastic. But Metal Gear Solid with freaking RTX on. Oh, imagine that. An RTX Metal Gear Solid, like a full-on re remake. But obviously without Hide Hideo Kojima. You know what? I'll shut up. Yeah, that's it. Use your camera to smack it through. Oh. I'm so, this, this is one strong ass lens, I'll tell you that. Okay, get ready for the jump scare, guys. What's a phone there? A signal in the back rooms? Oh my god. Oh no. Run, mate. Run. Is it done? Okay, well, there we go, guys. I mean, that was fantastic. Really good. Really captured the ambience well, the, the atmosphere. Well, I don't know what the hell that thing was. It looked like a blanket. Just going around, like, freaking eating people up. But yeah, fantastic stuff. That was from Dinnerbone777. Go sh be sure to check out. I think they've got, like, a whole series, like, of short clips of the backroom stuff that you guys can go check out if you wish. But there, there we go. So, moving on to the last one, guys. This is Nemesign Corp, How to Install Your Memories. Uh, and this was suggested by Color Shift on my Discord. And it's done by Nemes. I think that's Nemesign. Menemesign. 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 Corporation. 27 subscribers, guys. You know what to do. If you enjoy it, go subscribe. Here we go. Restore. Relive. Restore. Relive. Thank you for visiting Manama Sign. I think it's a silent M. This video will guide you through three simple steps to getting your MTID installed and home office ready. Set up. Ooh. The Nemesign Temporal Index Device, or MTID, is easy to use and install. Yeah. Break it down, baby. Yeah. Disclaimer, if you have not received your drive or are unaware of your surroundings, please seek a medical professional to assist you or call us at one 800 0 Unaware of your surroundings, that's such a strange thing to throw in. There are three basic parts. There are three basic parts. The cranial filter. Jesus, this looks like that thing they put on your head when they electrocute you. Sensory cables. This is just Neuralink, but analog version. The drive. How do you guys feel about uh, the soul? That just said the soul. Um, how do you guys feel about Neuralink, by the way? Do you, do you th would you guys get a device implanted into your head? I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to trust, like... I mean, having a phone, sure, they can, like, you know, maybe listen in through an app and something. But the thought of having something in your brain that you can't get rid of really freaks me out. Obviously, there's a lot of upsides to it, but I feel like there's a lot of negatives. And obviously, with the whole... Um, I don't know. I don't think anyone really trusts their government anymore or their, you know, the, the companies that they're dealing with. They've showed a lot of times that they don't really care for the people most of the time. I mean, I don't want to get political here, but I'm just saying... Like, there's always going to be some shady thing in the background that will make them a lot of money that obviously just completely exposes your privacy or something like that. But you know what? Forget I said that. Just let me know your feelings on Neuralink. Would you get one? I mean, I don't know. I don't know myself. Ooh. 
I don't remember who I am. Every day is agony. Connect the drive that you receive from your store appointment to a local computer via sensory cable A. If it is connected, you will hear the drive make a sound. Oh, is that the sound? Staring into emptiness. Waiting for the hand to reach out to me. Every day is agony. Now connect your drive via sensory cable B to the cranial filter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Please place the cranial filter above the head if you have not done so already. Wait 10 seconds. You are now connecting to your, to your drive. Okay. Oh dear. Well, this doesn't sound... You are now connecting to your memories. Ooh. Are you sure they're not installing memories? Like, other memories that aren't yours. Install. Hmm. Something dodgy is going on here, guys. To begin the restoration process, simply hit install. Okay, so it restores your memories. The whole install, though, uh, the whole install is kind of like it's installing something new. Like, if it's already in your head, you don't install that, you restore that. Do not remove or tamper with the drive while it is installing. So it's installing a drive that restores your memories. I don't know what that says. Disclaimer, you will lose everything and everyone. Okay, let's go. I'm, I'm ready to go. Let's, let's do this. Once the installation is complete, you should have enough implicit memory to roam your personal archives. That would be pretty cool. On your computer screen, you should see each year conveniently filtered and organized. You have the option to download each year, month and day. That is mental. Surely that would be extremely overwhelming. I mean, there's some things that we need to forget because I feel like we'd go insane if we remembered everything. Surely. Or you can delete them forever. Well, that's a pretty good one, to be fair, but I feel like our, the bad memories are what make us as, you know, who we are as people. So deleting them will make us kind of forget part of who we are. You know what I mean? Uh, who are you? I don't remember you. If you are having strange visions or dreams that you cannot explain, do not seek medical assistance. Who is this guy? This is exactly how it should be. Ooh. Oh dear. That was very good, Antonio. Really good. Deserves a lot more uh, recognition for sure. Um, there we go, guys. That was a Nemesine Corporation. I'm not sure if they've done any more videos, but very good. Obviously, there's uh, something strange going on there. I don't know. What, what's the end goal, though, there? Like, why would they do that? You know what I mean? Is it just for evil purposes? I don't know. Maybe it's to control you, to get rid of certain memories, place other memories into you, so it's like, I don't know. I'm just, I feel like a conspiracy theorist right now. But there we go, guys. That was a nice episode of Scare Baz there. We had a little bit of uh, variety. I do like variety when it comes to Scare Baz. Obviously, I like analog horror, but when it comes to Scare Baz, you guys can send me... I mean, I saw a Momo one that I was going to react to, but when I clicked on it, there was basically a age restriction warning saying this is blah, 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 blah. Uh, viewer discretion advised. And I thought, if I react to that, there is no way in hell I am risking getting another community guideline strike. So... Yeah, I can't watch that one, but yeah, it looks cool, which was annoying. But yeah, send me a variety of horrors and uh, I'll get around to watching them eventually. But thank you guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. It helps me out a lot and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.